day one of the Delro standing desk video blog. Here's what we're gonna attempt to build. Here we go, make some cuts. We're cutting all day today and uh, squaring up some lumber and just getting it ready. Got the wood all squared up. Now, next step is we're gonna take, these are actually eventually gonna be the, the feet of the stand-up desk. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take these long pole, these poles, we're gonna go in the feet like that. Sorry, like that. But this is not gonna be very stable if we leave it like that. So we're gonna cut out a little peg in here and embed it into here. Um, and then have a good glue surface and screw it up from the bottom. And so we're gonna make that cut now. Here we go. <laughs> Trying to do the next one. Here we go. All right, we're gonna route it out. We made those pegs. Now here's our little template. We're gonna make a hole right in this footer, and then uh, the little pegs we make should fit right inside there. So we're gonna route this out. Um, with the router We've got a straight bit on there, three quarter inch straight bit. So I'm gonna clamp this down so it doesn't move and. See what we get. Okay. Got my hole, I chiseled it out a bit. I had to you use a router, puts a little round corners uh, on the corner, so I chiseled it out and then um, use my chisel my chisel and chisel it out and uh, hopefully got it perfect and then put a little bevel on the corners so when I can hit this in it, uh, it's, it's gonna be really tight with that peg to go in this hole put a little chisel a little uh, bevel on the corners so it fits in there perfectly and it goes in and then I can pound it in with some glue in right now because I want to sand all this wood first and uh, because it'll be easier to sand while this is apart versus when it's at these 90 degree angles and stuff like that so I'm not going to put it together yet I'm going to just get it ready and then sand all these pieces together and then we'll start putting it together. All right so now we've got these all sanded at least with a belt sander what is this 120 grit sandpaper so it's, it's not the, the finished product smooth that we're gonna have but for now it's gonna be fine um, I gotta trim these down a little bit these are gonna be the the rising posts from the feet to the top of the desk but they're a little long right now um, Jeff wants it this whole desk at 42 inches and then he said 41 inches and so then we compromised on 41 and a half inches. Man, high maintenance I tell you. So with all that calculations, we're these are the you remember the feet that we were working on. We're actually gonna put half inch uh, little shoes underneath this. That's gonna no well, three quarters of an inch, almost kind of like this, that's gonna go underneath like that um, so three quarter inch plus the the width of these and then the width of the tabletop and in between we're left with three feet for
for this post. So we need to cut that right now and then um, on to the next project, part of the project. Here we go. Perfect. All right, so part of our design here on this is right in the middle of the um, the desk right here, there's a little shelf that's gonna be coming out, but we also need to put, uh, if I could do this, we also need to put a cross member across here, which I have already cut right there, a little two by four, I've shaved off the corners. And I've marked on these vertical rising posts right here um, where I want to make a little groove. So we're going to cut out about, a, you know, probably three quarters of an inch off of here from this point to this point. So that board sits in here, um, not flush. I want it to come out a little bit just for cool aesthetics, but um, it's going to indent in through here and then um, and then that that board right there is gonna sit in that slot and then off that slot we'll have a desk coming off of there so it'll look pretty cool so I gotta get uh, I'm gonna use the table saw for this and just got a whole bunch of grooves and then we'll chisel it all out and make it look awesome so, Today, I'm gonna to do some gluing um, on these feet. Remember, we routed out these holes and then actually pre drilled a, a hole through it. And on the back side, I uh, used a little spade bit um, to make a hole. And we're gonna put some anchor bolts through, see, through there, and it's gonna sit in the bottom all the way through and it's going to hold up our leg. Where did I put my legs? Um, it's going to put our, hold our, our, hold our leg vertical. So I'm going to um, fill this with a whole bunch of glue and then it's going to dry overnight and uh, pound that in and it's going to be there for life. No one's going to ever be able to get it out. So um, yeah, let's do it. And then, uh, and then after that, we'll put the cross beam that holds the legs together. And then, uh, oh, and then we'll be, uh, I'll glue that up. And then we'll, pull it. we'll be probably done for the day. Day one, Whew. we're uh, almost, what? Four hours into this one, awesome. Last video of the day. And we're gonna put the cross member on here. It's going across. Get out of the way. Yep, all right, cross member. And that's what this shelf is gonna be on as well. So here we go. I knew this. Use these cool screws that Jeff bought me. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs>